Marianela Feori, a manager of Fondo de Cooperación. It's a foundation that uh, was born in 1994 and uh, represents the different segments of the society. So within Fondo de Cooperación, we have a representative from the from the government, from the private sector, from the NGOs, and also from the universities, the main uh, public universities. And uh, the role of Fondo Cooperación or the mission of Fondo Cooperación is to fund uh, projects on sustainable development. We've been funding projects for over 15 years. And South South Cooperation Project uh, is the, the result of a bilateral agreement that was signed between the Netherlands and, and Costa Rica in, in 1994. But also there was a similar uh, bilateral agreement signed by uh, the Netherlands with Benin in Africa and with Bhutan in Asia. And uh, once the bilateral agreements were, were came to the end, uh, the Netherlands had the vision to, to promote South-South cooperation, which means that the Netherlands is uh, getting out of the picture, just uh, giving the funding, but out, out of the picture in terms of decisions. So it's really about Benin, Bhutan, and Costa Rica, three uh, South countries or three developing countries where we take the decisions on which projects to fund. But most important is about three countries and the organizations in three countries learning from each other, uh, developing experiences together, and really uh, moving forward in, in subjects like sustainable chains of production and consumption, sustainable tourism, which uh, this uh, project fits uh, perfectly into, or sustainable use of biodiversity, or cleaner technologies, cleaner energy. But also all of the projects do, have a, do need to have a gender equity uh, conceptual uh, focus. Uh, since the beginning of the pro uh, PSC, the uh, program South South Cooperation Program in 2007, we uh, we were promoting and uh, looking for, for uh, projects, reciprocal projects, where organizations in two or three of the countries have something to share or something to learn from each other. This specific uh, project from Rios Tropicales, it's a very good example on sustainable tourism project uh, or the sustainable tourism area, and, and that is because. Costa Rica is uh, learning from Bhutan, and Bhutan is learning from Costa Rica. Uh, or more specifically, Rios Tropicales has a very long experience in, in adventure tourism. So, Rios Tropicales is uh, teaching uh, tour operators in Bhutan or on how to include uh, adventure tourism, rafting, kayaking, or whatever, as part of their uh, tourist offer. So Rios Tropicales is teaching uh, the tour operators and, and the guides in, in Bhutan to, to start a, a tour, a rafting and kayaking uh, operations. And at the same time, Bhutan is very good in, in sustainable community tourism, on how to involve the community uh, in a sustainable way and, and to in, in include them and have them uh, be part of the benefits of the tourism. Uh, so, Bhutan is uh, showing and, uh, their experience uh, to Rios Tropicales, and uh, so Rios Tropicales, with the sustainable tourism uh, community tourism that is doing El Tigre, is not only doing its own focus but also applying some of the things that they learned from Bhutan. Some of the good things that they did in, in, in Bhutan in community tourism, they're doing it in here. So it's really about learning from each other. South South Cooperation Program is about having beneficiaries. People, community, getting benefited from from uh, from the activities. El Tigre project is a real model where really the, the community is, is benefiting from from this project. So it's not just a big uh, organization or a private organization. It's really about getting the benefits to the community. So when you see the people in El Tigre having their new, you know, the uh, butterfly farm or the internet cafe or, you know, the serpentarium or whatever. It, it's really about them becoming not only micro-entrepreneurs and, and having new activities, uh, but uh, and it's also about a new source of income for them, a new opportunity also for, for developing the family. It's, it's really a model. As, as part of the uh, PSC and as part of the, our hopes in Fund de Cooperación or our goals in Fund de Cooperación is really about, th this project is really about thinking globally, acting locally. So it's really uh, two countries far away, actually three countries because it, we're, it's, Benin is also included, but countries very far away with so many diff uh, differences and culture, language and everything. And, uh, 
but it's not really about the differences, but it's more about the coincidence. So it's what do we can we learn? So what are our similarities? And, and this project and El Tigre project would probably would never have dream of having a counterpart in the other side of the world. And, and this project makes it possible.